The, it's kicked off really well so far. Um, the, there's two, show, two shows open already. Uh, Kirk Turk's Request Program, um, which is a really very gentle and moving uh, show performed by Eileen Walsh uh, in a house. Um, and uh, yeah, it's a show that's uh, been presented in Cork and Galway already, and will go on to the Dublin Theatre Festival. But it'd be, you know, it's a real be great opportunity to see an actress like Eileen performing in Fulkenny in such an intimate context. Um, and I guess it's another, you know, example of the sort of offsite work that we did a lot of to create success last year. Um, then uh, last night, I mean, I think we were really up to the bang with Beowulf, uh, which is a show by uh, Banana Back and Bodice from New York, which is like a bar room rock opera version of the old English myth with deep warring academics and monsters and a full band. And it's a really uh, energizing and exciting and accessible piece of work. I saw it in New York um, just over a year and a half ago, and when I saw it, I knew it would fit in really well to Kilkenny. It's the first time I've ever presented something from the theatre and dance program in the set theatre as well, and it's a great venue for something like that. And you can go along and you can have a beer and you can, uh, and yeah, get up close and they get. Uh, in and around the audience, the action takes place all over the building, and it's really great fun, and it's also a really good telling of the story. And yeah. the other show that's opening today uh, is Fergus O'Croher's Tabernacle, and Fergus is one of our um, most interesting dance artists in Ireland, um, and he's made a really important body of work. I think he's worked with uh, in public space, and he's you know, really examined uh, what the body means in in Ireland, and particularly with Tabernacle, I think. Um, it's a really brave piece of work, which is uh, examining the Irish body uh, and its relationship with the Catholic Church. Um, he works with really amazing dancers. Um, it's a collaboration with Irlo Leonard, the uh, acclaimed musician, and also Sarah Brown, the visual artist. Um, three performances of that at um, the Watergate Theatre, uh, Saturday and Sunday afternoon and Monday evening. And also there'll be a post-show discussion uh, with the company from Request Programme uh, in the Hole in the Wall after the show on Monday evening and also a post-show discussion with Fergus O'Croher and the company after the performances of Tabernacle on Monday evening as well. Monday we're joined by Pony Dance, um, who were such a hit last year. Um, they're really infectious, they really love Kilkenny. I think it, we saw last year very clearly that Kilkenny loves them. And this time they're doing a show which they're taking out and about onto the streets, which is popping up all over town, also in some uh, bars and clubs as well. Um, and it's a really smart show, uh, called Anybody Waiting, about uh, someone waiting around looking for love. Um, and it, you know, it's really catchy, it's really engaging, they're really smart. Um, and it's really great that they're back again. Um, and then as you get into the middle of the festival, um, two uh, visitors to the festival, I mean, are sort of, we have a long standing association with Connor and Judy Lovett from Grass and Our Players. Um, and they've performed a lot of Beckett at the festival. Um, they've made like many, many visits to the festival for the last uh, while. But this is the first time that they're coming with an entirely new work that's been written just for them. Uh, Will Eno is one of the most uh, interesting and exciting uh, um, new American playwrights to have emerged over the last decade. And in fact, the Signature Theatre in New York, which devotes their season to uh, specific playwrights every year, are uh, presenting a showcase of his work next year. Um, so it's really exciting for us to have the world premiere of a new play written especially for one of our finest actors, Connor Lovett. That's opening next week, um, as is the return of Una McKevitt, whose work, Victor and Gord, was such a big success last year. Una makes documentary theatre, she makes stories from real life. Um, and this is a really uh, important, I think, and hard-hitting and moving uh, work called The Big Deal uh, about gender reassignment um, and the experience of uh, two women who uh, realised at an early age that they were born in the wrong bodies. Um, and, you know, Una is really fearless and... Uh, and really questioning, and, and her work is always, you know, really entertaining and very accessible. Um, and we're presenting that at lunchtime uh, from the middle of the festival through to the end. Um, and I'd really encourage people to come along and see that as well. And then at the very end of the festival, a couple of performances by John Scott and Irish Modern Dance Theatre. They've also been at the festival before. This is a really exciting new duet, um, working with a really great Irish dancer, Philip Connection, and also a really amazing dancer from New York. Uh, he's one of the most exciting things in the New York dance scene, um, Michelle Boulay. Um, they're making a show called Body Duet, uh, which is also a premiere. Um, it's great that this year, um, I guess the Kilkenny is uh, a place where important Irish and internationally acclaimed artists 
can come to create and premiere their new work. I think people should just be getting out there and booking tickets. Um, events are starting to sell out, which is really exciting. I think um, Beowulf was sold out last night, and uh, it looks like you want to get down there quick. Um, but for that and for all the rest of the events, you can get tickets at kilkennyarts.ie.